Mike Calderon again with Horse Racing Fantasy, and today we're going to spend a little time with Craig DeLassi. Young trainer, very successful, uh, won a Breeders' Cup race, I believe, at the age of 26, which is the youngest. And we're going to talk to Craig about the care of racehorses. We want our fans to see inside, you know, we know inside our game you're not taking care of the horses, but we want to see and show the fans that play our game the care that goes into the real world of horse racing, how much attention has to be provided to each horse. Craig, we're privileged to have him give us a tour inside the barn of Craig DeLossi, and we're looking forward to it. We're going to spend a little time today with one of California's leading trainers, Craig DeLossi, going to give us a tour of his barn and tell us a little bit about the care that goes into these animals. There's a lot that goes in to making a racehorse. You can see here on the side here, this is what they uh, consist of each day. They get their, uh, their Timothy, just kind of like a pacifier here through the day. Horses, they're in their barn, they're in their stalls at least, you know, 22 and a half hours a day, 23 hours a day. So they got to keep their mind on uh, munching on their hay rack here. You can see right here we've got a feed tub. Horses get Craig, do they get different types of hay? Will different horses need different types of hay? Just like people, certain foods they will be good and certain foods they don't want, they don't eat? Absolutely. And this particular filly's got a hay rack here with uh, some Timothy. Uh, they, it's, uh, it's just kind of a light type of uh, um, hay that she, she munches on and uh, she appreciates it. This right here is a little oat hay mixed in with it. It's got oats in it. You can see the oats? Yep. And they really, uh, they really like that. When uh, if this horse goes out for an exercise, how far will she normally go? Oh, it all depends. Every day is a different day. Yeah, a different day. You train all these horses individually. Uh, but her routine now, she had a breeze here the other day, a workout, a recorded workout. And uh, let's see, she, uh, she walked yesterday, she jogged today. She'll probably gallop the next two, three days in the interim. Maybe we'll stand through the gate, you know, go through her lessons. Uh, this is seven days a week. There's no, uh, there's no day off. This is not Monday through Friday. This is seven days a week. We're committed to what we do here, and uh, again, these horses always come first. How many um, horses will a groom take care of? Uh, typically four. 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 Yeah, four horses, and uh, again, they each and every day. You can see here, we'll probably find a guy walk down here uh, doing a horse up. Uh, like you can see here. So now I notice this is different betting on this particular horse. Yeah, he, uh, he he likes to eat his bedding actually. So we've got him on. It's called uh, shavings here. You can see the shavings here, and uh, he, he he won't eat that. That tastes very good. So and he's in the process of being made up now. And that's why he's waiting in the back. The groom's just finishing him off. Finishing him up here. You can see he's all wrapped. These horses are wrapped in my barn each and every day. Every uh, leg wrapped. Every leg wrapped. Every yep, checked on. Uh, like I said, we monitor them very closely. Uh, and uh, you know, if there's any heat or excess swelling or something, that'll be brought up to my attention, and we'll have myself and the vets look at the horse if there's something that came up. But you uh, look at each horse and you walk down the shed row. Each horse has his own personality, I guess. So a particular horse that is always head is always out, leaning over, or kind of aggressive and happy. And then if that you they all have their different demeanors. About here's a horse that's you know didn't get his morning. He's he's, he's hungry here, eating here on the on the. <laughs> they all seem hungry. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. Well, we work them. You know, we work. They they work hard and they, they build up an appetite. Here's a particular two-year-old filly here. We can put them in ice. There's another. Uh, so that's ice around their legs right now. Yeah. You know, uh, not necessarily have any problems. It's just something. It's maintenance. We use this as maintenance and uh, keep the inflammation down. This is a young two-year-old filly here, and a lot of times, typical with two-year-olds, they get shins on their cannon bone. Shin splints. Shin splints. Correct. And uh, that, that's a common thing with a lot of two-year-olds. But uh, there's a lot that goes into taking care of these animals, and uh, a lot of these animals, I think, are taking better care than some of us humans out there, to be honest with you. I was just going to say, ice legs, massaged, brushed, yeah, bed, I mean... Bed, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a great life. And they're bred to run, you know, these horses are thoroughbred. This is what they want to do, and, uh, and uh, they're, they're very competitive. and. and I don't know what they would do uh, without, well, us you know, humans giving them the care that we do, and we definitely get a lot of that here. Spending the morning here with Craig DeLassi, one of the leading trainers here in Southern California, giving us a tour of the five-star resort at the uh, DeLassi Barn, and it's been an absolute pleasure. And Craig, we wish you a lot of luck this afternoon, and hopefully we'll see you in the winter circle.